Oh boy. I rarely get a chance to do videos like this. I just want to thank the person for actually being the catalyst to ignite such a controversial thing to talk about. But anyways, I forgot one thing. There we go. Hello. Welcome to the controversial video that has a very controversial title, which I have no idea what it is, but you know, I will think about it later. Something happened recently as of me filming this. A few hours ago, one Instagram page which specializes in busting people who wears fake streetwear, they posted something very controversial and sparked a lot of outrage in their sneaker community. Before we talk about anything, let's just look at what he has to say. Na detect ori ke fake orang-orang yang flex kasut macam ni never go wrong with outfit. Tips kalau kasut je hype, baju Uniqlo. Faham faham lah. Come on, at least baju Supreme or off white untuk mata with those kicks. Pants takkan pakai pen pocket pocket biasa. At least pen Supreme off white. Zara pun okay. Ha ha ha. Accessories mesti mau ada punya. Pandai pandai lah. Korang mix and match. Boy. Let's just dissect the sentences one by one so that I don't go off on a tangent. Not detect ori ke fake. This is the whole point of your page, but I mean, um, in a general sense, the sneaker community and also the streetwear community is actually quite small. You think everybody gives a damn if they wear fake Supreme? I'm pretty sure 90% of the people who buy Supreme clothing from night markets don't even know what the brand actually is. But to be honest, regarding originals and fakes, of course buying fakes is not really that good because um, it's ripping off the brand. And also, um, in a way, if I'm not mistaken, I heard this from Brian Botachin in a Fly FM interview. He says that buying fakes is like actually supporting syndicates who actually do stuff like this. But the majority of the people in this world do not really care. Because why? Because they have families to feed. Because they need to put food on the table. And they do not have like 300, 400 ringgit, maybe even... Oh wait, sorry. Off-white. They do not have 300, 400 ringgit to spend on the supreme tea and also like nearing a thousand ringgit just to spend on an off-white tea. You think people will actually grind like 60 hours a week, 240 hours a month just to buy a tea that says white and has diagonal lines on it? I'm pretty sure some do but um, to be fair, if a person likes something and they feel like it's worth it to them, then it's okay, you be you. I also do have instances of this where I used to work part-time at like, you know, clothing fairs. I remember one where I literally just blow everything the next day by buying an Ultra Boost. It does seem a little bit um, non-financially correct, but in a way, I still feel happy with my purchase back then. So I have no regrets and that Ultra Boost is still able to be worn today. So yeah, but talking about originals and fakes, I mean, let people wear what they want. As long as they don't like, you know, buy fakes and try to flex that it's real, then it's fine. I don't really have anything against people who wear fakes. Not everybody, like I said, not everybody has the money to actually buy real clothes real hype clothing supreme off-white but talking about originals and fakes is not the main point of this video and also the main point of the story the main point is that they say if you are wearing a hype sneaker you are not entitled to wear you in the clothes why okay wait <音><音> 我记得好像有人播过在Facebook。假如你穿Uniqlo,你是穷人。I'm implying things from that. I said it in Chinese, I don't know why. I'm pretty sure what he implies is something like that. If you can afford a thousand dollar shoe, you can also afford a thousand dollar shirt. Even though if I can afford it, why would I buy a thousand dollar shirt when a shirt's basic function is to literally just to cover my decency. I'm very comfortable with my Uniqlo. It's cheap. It's nice looking. The fitting is very perfect and it is very economical. Okay, maybe 60 ringgit is a little bit too much as compared to like night market tees, but to my defense, I've bought tees from night markets 
and also like brands outlets most of it just like lasted one month and you know what happens next is that they literally become the shirts that i wear when i sleep the ones that are already having frayed collars and stuff like that so uniqlo doesn't do that to me uniqlo is very nice i actually have one uniqlo ut that i think has already been with me for two years and it's still the same the color is still not frayed the fitting is still good but what i'm actually trying to tell everybody is that we buy things because we feel like it's worth it i buy a shoe because i like it i buy a shirt because i like it but at the same time a shirt is just a shirt i do not feel the worth and so does everybody else who are flaming this guy we do not feel the worth to buy a shirt that costs 300 or 400 ringgit even like close to minimum wage just to wear it every day i know the main point of your page is also like to bust rich uh celebrities who wear fakes i'm pretty sure the reason that they wear fakes is because they just like the design but they do not feel the need to spend that much on a t-shirt i know it sounds very contradictory like i like sneakers but i cannot afford expensive clothing and i only afford cheap clothing but hey everybody has their own perspectives like maybe you like something and i do not like something else i like sneakers but that doesn't entitle me that doesn't mean that it's compulsory for me to also buy expensive clothing honestly i have no idea at this point uh what am i talking about other than i just wanted to rant that i want everybody to know that wearing fakes is okay to a degree and also, if you like sneakers, you can also be entitled to not be interested in apparels. Why is it so hard? Why is the world so judgmental? In a general sense, I think in every community, there is going to be like a bad apple within it. And you know, uh, unfortunately, the bad apple here happens to be the owner of an Instagram account that has quite a bit of a big following and you know, shit happens but i think i got my point true which is first of all not everybody gives a damn about what they wear like i said the streetwear community is very small like if you're going to flame like a 40 year old uncle saying that hey why are you wearing fake supreme i'm pretty sure he just buys it because it's nice and also he just wants a shirt no one really cares and for people who buy fake sneakers because they just want a shoe to use it's okay not everybody is interested in sneakers you know what this is the equivalent to this is like people who have like maybe lv wallets who probably bash people who have like off-brand wallets and they are like why are you buying fake shit why are you buying a fake wallet it's literally only being used to store money and in the same sense shirts apparels and even shoes have a basic function anything other than that is a luxury and i am very aware that i have very wait where is it again i love sneakers i like this form of luxury i like this form of collecting and for people who have zero interest in it it's okay you can buy fake sh you can buy fake shoes you can buy cheap shoes you can buy cheap clothing you can buy or clothing you can buy fake clothing anyways i think this rant is gonna be too long let me just end it right here thank you for watching this stupid rant that i just happened to impromptu without a script and i'll see you guys in the next video